You know, it's the same with pornography. You know, I just want to touch on pornography. You know, you know, nowadays it's so easy to access pornography. You know, if anyone here is watching pornography, obviously it's a sin and it's shameful and that's why you keep it a secret. But at the same time, you know, I'm compassionate in the sense that, you know, probably every guy has watched pornography. Victor, you ask Victor, you know, Victor, have you watched pornography? Yes, I have watched pornography. I'm not perfect, you know, but that doesn't make it okay. You know, it's, it's wrong. I just have compassion. I understand that, you know, this is what guys do. And, and because it's so easy to access, many guys do it. Now, how do you overcome pornography? Do you overcome pornography by sitting at home in front of your computer and just thinking, I'm not going to go to that website. I'm not going to watch this video and reading books about pornography and the struggles that people have, which is almost a pornographic book in and of itself. You know what I mean? You're reading about all these struggles and all these dark thoughts that people have and you're like, yeah, those are the thoughts that I have. That's not how you overcome pornography. The way you overcome pornography is you replace it with something else. This is why God has marriage. God has marriage because that's how you overcome the lust of the flesh. That's how you overcome pornography. And wives, you need to understand this, that this is what God has put in place. So don't deny your husband physical intimacy when he's in the mood, right? Because that, that's what you're there to do. You know, you're there to do it so that he, you satisfy that appetite so that he doesn't go and watch pornography, that he doesn't flirt with the girls at work because that appetite is satisfied with you and therefore you can help your marriage in that instant. So it's the same with pornography. How do you overcome pornography? Well, you don't overcome it by dwelling on it. You overcome it by replacing it. How do you overcome fornication? Well, you overcome fornication by getting married. So if you and your not married partner, you know, your girlfriend or your fiance are struggling, you overcome that by getting married. You replace it with something that is lawful and godly.